Placing orders. Opening market orders. There are four ways to open market orders in Forex Tester 3. To place a new market order, you can click on a special Place New Market Order button on the toolbar. As an alternative, you can click the F2 hotkey. This will also make the market order window appear. You can also navigate to Orders, New Market Order menu. At last, you can right click on the chart above the current price and choose the Sell with Stop Loss option. If you right click on the chart below the current price, the Buy with Stop Loss option will be available. All market orders are divided into two groups, Buy and Sell Orders. To open a Sell Order, click the Sell button at the bottom of the window. To open a Buy Order, click the Buy button. You can open a market order of any currency pair available while being in any other window. For example, you can open a USD CAD window. Click F2 and then select EUR USD currency pair from the drop down menu. This will open the trade on EUR USD in case if you have previously downloaded the data for this pair. It will also automatically switch you to the required symbols window in case if this chart is opened. You can set the lot value in the corresponding drop down menu. You can either choose from the predefined values of 0.1 up to 10 or set your own custom lot size. Please note that you cannot set the lot size smaller than 0.1. The maximum lot size is limited with your deposit only. There are four ways of setting stop loss and take profit values within Forex Tester 3. You can enter the value of stop loss or take profit by entering the proper value manually using your keyboard. You can use the up and down arrows. Each click will increase or decrease the value by one pip if you deal with four digit data. If you're currently using the five digit data, then each click will alter the value by 1 point, 0 0.1 pips. You can set the stop loss by clicking on the dropper and then clicking on the desirable spot on the chart. This allows setting stop losses that are based on the visual chart analysis. In addition, you will see the current size of the stop loss to the right of the stop loss signature. You can set a value of stop loss using the drop down menu. It is possible to use the predefined values or to enter your own ones with the help of the keyboard. This feature is especially useful for traders whose strategies require setting the same stop loss values for all the trades. After you set the required value, please click on the button with the green arrow. This will set your stop loss to the chart automatically. To monitor your results, you can enter any comment in the comment field. It will be visible in the open positions tab. And after closing the order, it will be visible in the account history tab. If you decide to export your testing results into Excel, it will be visible there as well. Bid Ask values display the current prices you can open a trade. The bid price, the red one, is the actual price for opening a sell order, whereas the ask price, the blue one, is the price for opening a buy order. To enable trailing stop, you need to switch to the Trailing Stop tab and check the Enable Trailing Stop checkbox. The default type of trailing stop is set on the Immediately option, 20 points for the trailing stop itself, and 5 points for the step of change. When you open a trade, the trailing stop will be applied immediately and it will be moved only when the price covers 5 points into the profitable direction. When all settings are established, please click on the Sell or Buy buttons depending on which type of order you are eager to open. The order will immediately appear on the chart and in the Open Positions tab. There are two additional advanced ways of opening market orders. Let's say we want to open a market sell order and place a stop loss at 1.1670. To do that, we can right click on the chart above the current price at the exact spot where your stop loss will be situated. Then choose the Sell with Stop Loss at 1.1670 option. 2. If you want to open a market buy order and place a stop loss at 1.1600, you need to right click on the chart below the current price at the exact spot where you want to set a stop loss. Then choose the Buy with Stop Loss at 1.1600 option. The last technique of opening market orders will be especially useful for traders whose stop loss and take profit values remain unchanged. Navigate to the Tools Options menu. In the Default Orders tab, you can add default buy and sell orders. Click the Add button in the Default Buy Orders menu. Select the typical lot size either by choosing the value from the drop down menu or by typing the required value manually. Select your usual stop loss and take profits values. Set the trailing stop if necessary. Then click OK. The default order will appear in the list. You can edit or delete it with the help of the corresponding buttons. You can add, edit, and delete default sell orders in the same way. To apply default orders, right click on the chart and select Buy with Default SLTP or Sell with Default SLTP. You can also use Ctrl B shortcut for opening a Buy default or Ctrl S shortcut for opening a Sell default order.
Opening Pending Orders There are three ways to open pending orders in Forex Tester. To place a new pending order, you can click on a special Place New Pending Order button on the toolbar. As an alternative, you can click the F3 hotkey. This will also make the pending order window appear. At last, you can navigate to the Orders New Pending Order menu. All pending orders are divided into four groups, Buy Limit, Sell Limit, Buy Stop, and Sell Stop Orders. You can choose the required type from the Type drop-down menu. Please note that limit orders should be used when you expect the price to reach some level and then bounce from it, whereas stop orders are made for breakthrough strategies. If you think that the price will go up, reach a certain point, and then resumes the downward movement, then you should set a sell limit order. If you expect the price to go down and break through the support level, then it is necessary to open a sell stop order. To memorize it more quickly, you can use another way of opening pending orders. Right-click on the chart. If you click lower than the actual price, then you'll see the buy limit and sell stop options. If you click higher than the actual price, then you'll see a buy stop and sell limit options. Adding such parameters as lot size, stop loss, take profit, comments, trailing stop are configured in the same way they are used with the market orders.